So I am in Cortez, Colorado. It's actually really beautiful here. The whole place is, sound, is surrounded by mountains. I got the truck. Uh, it's pretty empty right now. Gonna be headed over to Jimmy's 4x4 uh, in about, about two or three hours to uh, do some business, pick up the car. Um, the drive was very long. It was uh, 16 hours total. It was 16 hours total and I drove it straight through. I stopped twice for gas and that was it. I uh, didn't even stop to get food or anything because I wanted to hurry up and get here. Got to my hotel, which was actually a pretty nice Hampton Inn. Um, crashed out uh, really, really early. Uh, I was really tired, I woke up at, I set my alarm for, um, 5.30 and I actually woke up at 4.30 on my own because I was so excited to hurry up and get here. So um, I'm going to go take care of some business and I'll probably record some of the loading of the car and uh, video of the uh, parts and all that stuff that are coming with it and then uh, we'll go from there. You want to try to use the truck? Yeah. And I hope the truck is... I don't know if the claws are big enough to actually grab it.
the final space needed. Clay. Clay's a really good mechanic and fabricator. He's going to be helping up, me guys? finish the car. No, right in the middle. I, I'll have go jack that I'll just be able to move it around with. Can let it warm up a little bit. I don't think it has gas. It does. It just needs to warm up. Is it in neutral? How do you know it's in neutral? The middle. Give it, give it some gas. Use two feet. Use, yeah, one on each. Give it some gas. Okay, just turn the wheel that way. We'll push it. I don't know what we would have done without having tow trucks, that's for sure. Hey, make sure your height's good. Oh, shit. Okay, you look good. Make sure he's not going to talk that. Hey. Hey. I actually don't know if it fits. No? No. Oh yeah, that'll be good. That'll be good. Up, oh, up. Oh. There we go. That's good. That's good. Yeah, because as far having room in the back is a good idea. Actually, this fits better than my other car. That's so weird. I still got like. You want to go back or you want to go there? No, I think right here. Well, we'll go back just a little bit, like a, like six inches. She won't be moving for a couple of months. All right guys, so we got the car unloaded. We have 
still have some work to do. Got a bunch of pallets I gotta do something with. We're leaving some of this stuff in here to make more room during the build process. My son's weight information or weight bar and uh, wheel to my RS7. I was gonna make a table out of some extra Nitto tires over there, some extra dump cans. Probably some more stuff is gonna go in here um, because we have a lot of crap. So you can see the aluminum kit on this car is pretty overwhelming. There's probably, I don't know, 20 or 30 pieces. Actually more than that all together. Um, got lots of parts, radiators, brake stuff, steering, shifter, winch. Um, I think those are axle shafts in that box. Some stuff for the motor. Um, lots of more stuff over here. Stuff for the engine. So there's a lot of parts basically. And I need to get this mess all organized and cleaned up. And that will allow me to have enough room on both sides to work. I'm going to move the welder and the cutter, uh, the torch on that side in the very rear. And then I'm going to get that plastic table, put it over there towards the rear and put a uh, small fab table somewhere. I have a really big fab table, but it ain't going to fit in here with everything the way it's set up. So here is the car. It is pretty impressive. I spent some time right now kind of getting my seat mocked up just to kind of make sure that I fit it all. It's going to be very tight, I won't lie. It's a lot tighter than I thought it was going to be. The uh, transfer case is right on my seat, so there's going to have to be some, some creative mounting points to make this thing really work, but it's going to. Um, I sat in it. My hood actually has a, so my head probably sits about right there. So the hood sits up pretty high, but it looks really cool. And it doesn't really change visibility because I think the dash goes up about the same height, so it wasn't really gonna change anything. But seeing it in person, I'm very impressed. Everything looks really cool. All the fitment is really nice. Just overall, the build is just very high level. Um, it's a lot of work left. Lots and lots of work. I gotta get the gotta find the box that has the bracket kit in it. That's the most important kit right now, so I can start tack welding and mounting all the things like the coolers and uh, just every little part um, needs to get soft mounted or at least tack welded in, so that way I can start working on the things that still need a little bit of fabrication, like the seat. And then uh, just making sure my pedals and everything are comfortable. It's a pretty tight fit. I didn't realize just how tight it was going to be. Um, but I guess whenever you're in a single seat car, that's what you're expecting. Um, there's a couple parts I need to order. But for the most part, it's just going to be mountain stuff. I got to flip the intake around so I can start working on the intake. Um, what else? Got to order something for the drive. I got to figure out what front drive bracket I'm going to be using for this thing. That's one of the things I really got to work on. The look of it from the side is just amazing. I can't stop looking at it. The length of the trailing arm and the, the angle of everything. This is a pretty cool little uh, thing that holds the window net. It pops in there so you don't have to worry about the window net getting all loose and crazy like they always do. Swing arms in. Um, let's do kind of a little bit of a walk around so everybody can see more. Baseline wheels with Netto K spec tires. Got to take all the rotors off and do the uh, safety wire on them. Got to mount the calipers. I got to run all the hard lines for the brakes, um, all the vent tubes. Need to run some, need to weld some guards on there. I got, got aluminum somewhere around here. 
I think behind, I think behind this big shelf, I got a bunch of stuff. Um, I think I got all my aluminum sheets down there somewhere. Yeah, I think they are. So I'll cut some little guards so rock can't go and hit. These king shocks are pretty cool. They have a little guard on them to protect the shaft. Jimmy's does like a really good job of their quality. I don't know how well y'all can see that, but it's very nice. Lots of work to do. The axles are so wide, I have about a quarter inch on each side of the trailer. Really not more than that. The lugs like rub as they come in. So, but this was my dream car. It's not a Ferrari, it's not a Lamborghini, it's not a Bugatti. This was my ultimate dream car. So I'm pretty excited. Can't wait to start working on it really. All right guys, so welcome back. Um, it is now Friday. We've had the car for about a week. Uh, we unloaded it, I believe, on Sunday, maybe Saturday. Yeah, on Sunday, I believe. Um, so we've had it for almost a week now. Um, we've done a little bit of work to it. Uh, we spent a couple of days just kind of trying to get everything organized, see what was missing. Uh, put a list together what needed to be ordered started ordering stuff um, We have uh, one of the big things that we couldn't really that kind of held us back from Starting to actually mount things is not having hardware. So we placed a really big order of hardware about 5,000 pieces of uh, grade 8 in all different sizes and lengths um, washers nuts uh, nylon knocking locking nuts and uh, Whole bunch of stuff so as soon as that comes in we can really start mounting stuff onto the car um, the car has a lot of panels to it that's one thing that I really liked about the dragon is the body lines and the panels on it so um, we really love our custom hood we did get the custom hood pins uh, welded and mounted we just got to drill the hood out now um, so all of the body panels, uh, some of them, the interior pieces, uh, Randy and the guys went ahead and put together just because they're kind of complicated. And I think it kind of had to go together to really make them. All the exterior panels and everything else, like the roof and everything else, um, the, the metal tab, the metal brackets are on the car, but they still, we still got to put the springs in them. Um, so we didn't really have a lot of that stuff. Jimmy sending me stuff because um, there's some place there's some parts that don't have any don't even have those on there so we spent a couple of days this week basically organizing that uh, getting the rivet gun or the uh, yeah the rivet gun and just kind of um, putting those springs everywhere uh, we ordered a bunch of stuff so those came in today I can work on that this weekend um, other things that we've done um, the radiator, the big, the big CBR radiator that goes in the rear, um, that the brackets on that were in pieces, so we had to weld them. There was probably like 20 something welds on each one of them because it's all like tabbed. So, um, and I like a real clean look to it. I didn't want, I didn't want the bottom and the top to have these big tabs sticking out where the welds went over it. So I went ahead and welded them, grinded them, make sure they were nice and strong. So those are done. That took about probably four or five hours just to do those alone um, and really there's not a whole lot more we can do right now um, we will start taking more video in the garage the stuff that I was doing was kind of boring um, but we'll start taking some uh, videos uh, one thing I plan on doing next week is getting all the brake rotors off and putting safety wire on all four of those um, what else? The steering column. Uh, you know, the panels were hard to figure out where they even went. There's, we haven't really completely assembled the panels. Uh, we were kind of waiting on more springs to be able to really mount everything. So we'll do that. We'll probably record a time lapse of that entire process, just trying to figure out where everything goes. Um, but the steering column, um, we've mocked up the bracket on that. We've got it marked where we're going to tack it to the car. 
Um, we called Sparco, we're gonna have them send us a steering wheel and a quick release so we can fully install that. The seat is gonna kinda be a problem, honestly. Um, I fit in the seat, my shoulders are very wide and they don't really fit. So basically my, my left shoulder is almost on the bar. So we might have to find a way to have that bar removed and popped out, uh, put like some kind of an angle in it towards my shoulder to where I'd have more room. Um, as you know, in Ultra 4 when you're racing, even being strapped fully down as tight as can be, you're still gonna be bouncing around a lot. So um, that's gonna be something that has to be addressed probably later on. Um, might have to alter the panel and all that kind of stuff. So it could end up being kind of a big deal, we'll see. Um, kind of sucks, but that's the problem being so big. Um, what else? Um, I think I'm ready to go ahead and order third members because I think it's gonna take a while to get them. Um, I guess that's really it for now. Uh, we'll, like I said, we'll start doing more video in the garage. Um, the actual building process, uh, not many more, not too many more recordings of me here in the office just talking about it. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys want to see, what you haven't seen before, uh, what y'all are kind of interested in um, about the car, and I'll try to get it in the next video. Um, next week we should, if we get the hardware, we should be able to mount all the coolers. We should, there was one bracket that is the transmission cooler that goes in the rear, it's a big CBR uh, dual cooler. The brackets for that didn't fit, so uh, Randy CNC guy is going to be resending those to me. Uh, there's also, I think, a cooler that we're missing that's gonna be sent directly from CBR. So as soon as we get all that in, we will definitely start mounting um, the majority of that stuff. I think we're gonna try to get all the aluminum done while we're waiting on that because we technically have everything we need to get that done. So like even the roof, uh, none of the tabs are in to, to install it. So that'll be kind of a job to do that. So we'll have plenty of work next week and uh, we'll post another video sometime next week of all the work that was done and uh, go from there. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you haven't already done so, I think the last video we had had <clears throat> something like a thousand views on it, but only maybe 30 or 40 subscribers. If you would, and you want to continue to see these videos, kind of give us a little bit of motivation and subscribe to the video, uh, or subscribe to the channel and like this video so we know to continue, okay? Thank you.